yes slide is visible make sure if the slide gets uh, hindered a bit you are just refreshing try to rejoining the class you'll be easily able to see the slide again okay quickly go through this everyone giving you a minute because first understanding the syllabus is very important done everyone let's move right so let's start with the very first topic of the various concepts of development okay yeah. so talking about the various concepts of development first let's understand about the very important terminology that is induction okay first we'll learn about induction then we'll study about potency and then we'll be like moving forward with the same thing right so let's talk about what induction is okay cell induction or the normal terminology of induction we have learned about what do we mean by uh, cell communication right in our unit number 4 for those of you who have completed with us we have completed what oh cell signaling so what is cell signaling when you have two different cells and there one of them is giving the message to the other one right now what is cell induction or what is signal induction cell induction or signal induction in very very simple terminologies it means you have the first cell and then you have the second cell cell induction there is some induction going on what do we mean by that it refers it simply means that a cascade of signaling events in which one tissue is influencing the work of the second one that is what induction is Speci uh, in very very simple language you have cell a and then you have cell b so what all events when first cell is providing some information to the second cell over here you'll be having cascade of events happening in a number of events happening in because of which the functionality of the second cell changes or we can say the developmental fate changes what do we mean by the terminology of developmental fate in very in this entire unit you will come across this particular term a lot of number of times so what do we mean by fate fate means the 
work that a specific uh, specific function uh, cell can perform for example let's say this is a cell and this cell is committed or this cell can convert into a kidney cell for example right so this is what this particular cell x has a developmental fate of converting into a kidney simple this is what do we mean by fate what is fate again repeating you have a cell and the, what pot what potential this particular cell has to convert into this is what the developmental fate is what is cell induction so when cell a like i'm taking just two cells a and b when cell a can change or influence the developmental fate of the other cell via a number of events we call this particular thing as cell induction right what are the two things over here first thing this particular cell is your inducer which is providing the induction which is providing the information which is providing the signal and the second cell is your responder first cell is your inducer second cell is your responder inducer the cell which is providing the signal responder which is taking up the signal and responding accordingly right so what are the two com components in the entire cell induction or entire signal induction two things first one is inducer second one is responder right now the second thing over here second term is potency potency of a cell what do we mean by the term potency potency can be correlated to a knowledge of potential or we can call it as capacity so what is potency potency is potential or capacity right so what is the cell potency all about so over here if you look into the cell induction thing itself first cell is providing the signal it is giving some signals second cell is responding to that particular signal and in the response of that particular signal uh, it is doing some kind of changes in its functionality now what will decide that responder will be responding or not because the first cell is providing the signal writing slide not visible what's happening nothing is visible whatever i'm writing on the slide see i am writing all this is this not visible is it now visible just check okay if it is visible in the slow in this small mode let me write it down in this way itself now visible okay let's let me write it down here itself okay it will be much better so let's continue i'll check the what's the problem after the class let's not waste the class timing right so next terminology is your potency so what is potency all about potency specifically means potential or the capacity right what is potency potency means potential or capacity what is the meaning of this particular thing see the first cell is giving the signals out that is one thing okay but is the second cell competent enough is the second cell having the capacity to like uh, to actually react to that particular thing or not or to actually respond to that particular thing or not that is what the potency or the potential is so what is potency all about potency means that is the specific signal or uh, more appropriately this will be called as your competence okay competence is potential or capacity potency or uh, 
competence is the same thing itself right so competence is what it is the ability of the responder cell to respond to a specific signal right ability of specific cell to respond this is what potence uh, this is what competence is that is one particular cell is providing the signal that's one part but is the second cell even competent enough whether it is like having the ability or the potential to respond to that particular message or not or signal or not that is what competence is right did you understand the two terminology of what cell induction and what competence is yes or no these are the two terms that we have see over here cell potency is uh, the potential to differentiate competence is the ability to divide into or uh, ability to uh, respond to a signal and potency means that what particular potential a cell is having to divide into various different types that i'll explain you in a bit competence is the ability of a specific cell to respond see yeah these are two very small terms that's why i have not added it so first understand this and then we'll understand about the cell potency but understanding about induction and competence is important then only you can like move forward in this unit these terms will be repeated time and again in the entire unit so quickly go through this everyone then we'll start with cell potency One minute quickly. Cell induction means you have first cell, you have second cell, cell A and cell B. Cell A is providing some signals. It is giving out some signals. A number of events happen, a number of various different cellular events happen. As a result of which, the second cell receives the signal, which is the responder, and it can change its developmental fate or it can function according to what signal it has got so this is what entire cell induction it is it is completely similar to what we studied in cell communication unit as well 